Hello, my beautiful crafty friends. It's Lorette, the Vintage Paper Girl. Welcome to my studio. I'm excited that you're here to have a little play with me in my studio today. Today is Tim Holtz Day. So welcome, welcome to all my brand new subscribers, as well as those of you who come and watch me on a regular basis. I love you all. Thanks for watching. Okay, so, um, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> So anyway, I have a couple of projects I want to do with Tim Holtz. We'll see how far I get. Maybe I'll just make like one of each. And then if we have time, we can go back and make extras. But you can see I have all this Tim Holtz goodness on my desk. Um, I've got some of his new um, fabric tape. And in fact, I have a whole box of it in a bunch of different... Let me, let me check to see where I am. Um, I had to turn on extra lights. It's dark today. We're getting ready for some rain. I don't know if we're actually going to get it, but it's getting dark like it's going to rain. But anyway, um, I went and got myself a box of different um, worth of different tapes from Tim so that I could, I loved what I played with the other day. So I went and got some others. I had to wait a little while for some of these. Um, they weren't easy to get a hold of. Some of them are already sold out and they're really hard to get. I'm also using some of his, let's see, what are these called? Um, I have a mix of Expedition and Thrift Shop in here. And then I've got tickets and I don't know what else in this one. So um, these are what I'm going to be playing with today. I don't know why I close that. What I'm going to be playing with today. I have tickets from a variety of other shops. But I'm going to be using his words today. Um, and let's see what else. Whatever else I can find uh, that, you know, that I need. So what we're going to start with is we're going to start with some DIY puzzle pieces. I don't know. Let me see what you could see having a little trouble lining up today so let me see if I can find the middle um I need to move this little paper down maybe so if I stay on the paper I will probably be um I'll be okay okay I want to make sure you can see but anyway here it is up close and you can see I've used the Tim Holtz flowers. Oh, yeah, we're going to be using his flowers and his butterflies and then some of his words. This one says, be in love with your life. And this is a little DIY puzzle piece. Looks like the real thing, but it isn't. Okay. So I'm very excited about this. Um, I, who did these? Ugh. Could have been Camilla Crafts or it could have been Antonio. A lot of people are doing puzzle pieces. So I watched a couple of videos Saw several people making them, found the one I like the best, and this is what I'm going to do. So what this is made out of, um, I'm going to share with you. I did some master boards uh, a while ago. These are my original master boards, and these are all made with vintage documents that I owned. So the bases are mine to do with what I want. This one... Um, I think art belong to some other people might have pieces in here. So it's not one I could sell this one. I could because it's, um, it's all mine and there's nothing and it's all copyright free because it's all old stuff. Really, really old stuff. Then I backed it with some of this lightweight. It's craft on one side, white on the other. Uh, it comes with my, um, one of my, um, presentation paper kits comes with this printer paper comes with these so I have tons and tons of these so I backed the cardstock now on this one I backed it with white uh, but the others these are all them I backed it using the natural so it looks like a real puzzle piece on the back because your puzzle pieces look like this on the back so that's what I used to create my boards then I took my board let me find the one here oh there it is let me move those aside um um um, um. And I took this board and I cut it in half this way. I'm not going to do it because I have plenty of puzzle pieces there. I'll just tell you what I did. So take whatever page you're using. Now you can use cardstock. You can use the Tim Holtz cardstock if you would like or any other cardstock or any page. It could be a digital page, whatever. Just back it with some craft paper so it looks like a puzzle on the back. Then you're going to take and you're going to cut it in half. So if this was eight, you would cut it at four, all right? Then you would cut it in thirds to get your cards that look like this. Now, I'm terrible at math, so I had a terrible time figuring out where the thirds were on my boards. But that was okay because what it did is it allowed me to have different sizes and shapes of puzzle pieces. And what you do, so when someone says, now what do you do with these? Well, they could be written on. 
they can have a little punch and a tab or tag or anything on them. They can be used in journals as journaling pieces. They can be used as an ephemera piece. They can be used as a happy mail piece. They can be stuck on a card. You could just use them for anything you want. They're just fun. And if you do a whole bunch of them and you lay them out, who knows, maybe you'll come up with your own little puzzle. Wouldn't that be fun? So if I wanted on this one, which I didn't get out my, um, I did not get out my, crocodile so I'm kind of kicking myself because it's like oh I should have got my crocodile out because this would be lovely with a little dangle on it wouldn't it you could either use a ball pin or some chain and um wouldn't that be fun so maybe we'll just give it a hole and we'll, we'll add a little something in the corner just for the heck of it just so you can see I've already made one I'll make one more with you and then we'll move on to um a couple of other things I want to make Thought we could make a few and then we could, I wanted to get that right there. Let's hope I do better with this this time. I didn't do so great last time. Well, how are all of you? What are you up to? What's new? What's exciting? I hope everyone's safe. Uh, I heard from some of you that you're okay. You made it through your storms. Today when I'm filming this, which is Thursday, and you'll see this the next day on Friday, it is dark and gloomy, and I had to turn on extra lights because I couldn't see anything. I did notice this is kind of rough on that back side. That always worries me. I feel like I'm going to have to get something to flatten that out so it doesn't um, cut me or anybody else. I'm going to see if I can... Mm. I just don't think I closed it enough. I'm being, I'm being weak woman today today I kind of put that in the wrong corner so I'm kind of like now whoops I meant to do it on the other side but that's okay we can do it on that side right I'm gonna set that next to me and we can just let's see if I have a pin or something I can add to that um, I'm going through my little charms here I don't know if I have any bulb pins I don't have to go fish them out but of course because I want one am I finding one no well we'll put something through it later Okay, so you get the idea of that one. Now, what I thought I'd do is make a few. I think, didn't this come out cool when I cut up my pages? They came out so cool. I love these. It's like playing cards and they have such good heft to them. Here, they almost sound like a playing card or a puzzle piece. Look at them all. You do all kinds of fun. Oh, that's really nice. It's nice because I use presentation paper and then I put it on the cardstock and it created a nice, can you hear? Can you hear? Yeah. So let's see, which one should I work with? Now, how we got the holes. That's an interesting part. What I got was a three quarter punch. Excuse me, this is reflections, but you know, everybody has them. I prefer the EK uh, tool punches, but um, they didn't have one in this size. And I happen to be, uh, last time I bought this, I happened to be in the store. So what I wanna do is I want to put it into almost the very end not all the way so you're gonna go pretty far in Whoop. I should see if I could play catch with that okay so we got our first one you could put them wherever you want it depends on where you want your holes I punch the holes first then pick the piece but you could certainly decorate it I feel like I should um, open my mouth wide and see if I could catch it <laughs> kind of like skittles you know um, let's put this one over here because I don't want them to all be the same. Okay. Now, if for some reason you're not crazy, you feel like it has too sharp, sharp an edge, you could easily take your scissors and lightly round your corners to make them look more like a puzzle piece. That's why I don't normally go too far in because I don't want to have to do the trimming thing. And it's not that easy to get it rounded the way you want it so if you go go too far in then you but you want to use about a three-quarter inch anything bigger could be too big unless you really want big puzzle pieces I guess you could then I'm going to take and ink this all the way around because you know these papers lend themselves to that now you can use Tim Holtz papers for this and put them on cardstock to give them some heft or sometimes the Tim Holtz papers are thick enough kind of just depends on how I want to mine really firm like a puzzle I thought they would be fun so now this one I might want to put something behind I want might want to 
I think I want a person on there. Now the question is, do I want a mini person or a regular person? I have some minis here and I bought the set. I finally got it. I'm super excited. Look at all these great minis. Uh -huh. Oh, they're good size. I think she would be lovely on there. And then maybe with like a little tag or something from one of his kits. I actually kind of liked her right there. I did. I feel like we need something there with her. So let's see if I have any coolness in here that I could use, that I want to use. Mm -mm. Too much like the background. So I need something that's a little more... Kind of like that. It could take a while to go through all these. You know that, right? You just kind of want to make a little... I don't know. Oh, I'm going to keep that one out. It's too much writing on writing, I think, is what's bothering me. I need something... Oh, it could be a number, like a big number like that. I could do something like that. Just make it very simple. Don't have to be complicated. Let me ink this so it's juicy. What are you guys up to? Anything new? I love that you've all been talking to me about your weather and what you're doing and how you are. It's been great. I feel like there's a lot more interaction going on in our group. I love it. Um, you know, we're growing in leaps and bounds. And I have to get a kick out of it. But the other day, YouTube put me up as a preferred video. And I can't tell you. I got like 1,700 views. About had a heart attack. It was awesome. <laughs> I never thought I would see numbers like that on my channel for a few years. But, you know, then the next video, of course, that didn't happen. So I'm not sure. I think they did it because, um, you know, it was my anniversary or what. I don't know why they why they per sent me up as a preferred. But it was very cool, I have to say. Um, I loved it. So it was fun for me to see that. Now, I have all kinds of things. I mean, we could add a little bit of doily to give it some dimension I don't want to fill around too much I just want to keep it simple but you know me hmm, simple oh what's that word mean <laughs> I don't think I know <laughs> I think that is a very foreign word to me simple mm -hmm. I don't know what that means <laughs> Uh, your friend is funny. All right, let's see what we could do here. Um, I need some glue. <laughs> oh my goodness, your friend is nutsy. I'm actually going to glue it right to her. That way, if it goes over, I could cut it off. Uh, I want to get it in a certain place on her. So she has a little feminineness behind her, and then we'll add her to this little, I think I'll just glue everything right to her. It might be easier for me to put it on that way. I know it's something I've just recently started doing, but it's been a lot easier for me. And then I can just glue, sorry, I glued that up to my nose. Let me see if I can get it on there. I'm trying to do this far away. Hello. Well, I hope you're having a happy Friday and uh, that you're all ready for another fabulous weekend. And happy Easter, happy early Easter, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful Easter if you celebrate Easter. If you do not, I hope you just have a fabulous weekend. Okay, let's get some words on this. Now, I have some snarky ones. Um, I don't know how I feel about snarky words. You know, I'm, I can be snarky like everybody else, like say funny things, but I don't like things that are mean. Um, so, you know, I'm, we'll see what's here, right? And if there's anything I can like. Well, I like, I love this one. Why limit happy to an hour? You know how they say happy hour? Well, maybe we can. Um, darn, it's too big. I might have to go, I'm gonna have to go all the way across. So what I'll do is I'll cut a little bit off. I do like this Why Limit Happy to an Hour. So I guess some of the snarky talk is funny. I do like some of them. But there's some on here that are just flat out rude. I was sort of surprised at them. Isn't that cool? 
So there you go. Another puzzle piece ready to go. Maybe we could do another one. And then, let's see. How about one of these other... What do we got? I could do another... We could do... I want to do... If I do certain things, it's going to be a word. I rarely use birds and butterflies, but I could use a butterfly maybe. I have all the Tim Holtz butterflies here, and they are humongous. All right, what were they thinking when they made these giant, humongous? Look at these things, butterflies. Ugh. That's why I don't use them. They're just too big. Crazy, crazy looking. Hmm. Some of these aren't Tim Holtz, I don't think. This one's kind of pretty. I like that, but I feel like now it needs a flower, right? Or it needs, like, maybe we could find a card to go with it. Um, sorry, we're getting a glare, aren't we? Hmm. I'm going to see what cards. I saw a card I thought would work on here. Grab the box, and then the card disappeared. Well, that is so not good. I want to kind of cover up the cherry. I just don't think it goes with that unless I change the butterfly. I kind of like that. But let me get my, um, punch my holes because, so I kind of have an idea of where I want to put my holes on this one. This also has a white spot here I don't want. Where did that come from? I thought I trimmed this down pretty good. Apparently not. Now, I guess you could round the corners if you want, but then that wouldn't make them true puzzle pieces. So let's see if we were doing that and that. So we could have one at the bottom. One here and one at the top. Okay, we could do that. I think it's okay to pre-plan your puzzle pieces if you would like. And then maybe one over here. I will probably use these puzzle, these little cutouts for something. I don't know what, but I hate to throw them away. I mean, they're quite cool looking on some of them, like this one. It's a very cool looking. <laughs> Let me get this inked before I go putting everything in the world on it. What are you guys up to for, are you guys getting together with your family? Um, we won't be because my family has been very sick with some nasty, nasty stomach flu. That was Jolene and her girls. And um, I think her husband is going to be coming home from his treatment. So I don't know, they're probably not gonna feel, he's not gonna feel like celebrating or having any food. So that's okay. We're fine with that. We got some Easter treats for us. Well, whatever we can have on our limited diets. So we'll be, we'll be good with that and just have a nice quiet day. It'll be fine, just like any other day. Maybe we'll, if the weather is decent and not rainy, maybe we could like eat out on our patio and just hang out and have fun together. You know, my husband and I did start out life that way with just the two of us, right? Um, I'm looking to see what else I have. What did I do with that little tiny piece I had here? I don't know where it ended up going. Oh, well, I'll find it. I was wondering if I, what I'll do is I'll just like glue through the middle in case I want to tuck, right, something. I don't think this is a Tim Holtz piece. I think this came from another project, like a, a um, scrapbook paper or something, ephemera. This doesn't seem like a Tim Holtz piece, but it's in my Tim Holtz box, but I guess because it's so reminiscent of his stuff and I probably didn't have anywhere to put that. Or it was all in different boxes and I just consolidated something. Mm, I like that. I want to put it like a little, I know what I want to put up there. Oh, let me see. Sorry about my wrist there. I was thinking like maybe one of these or... Uh, um, I was thinking like something like this up here. 
or possibly I'm looking for the other company for Tina. I kind of like her. Yeah, I like that one better, I think. This is Artsology. These bright colored ones are Artsology, and these are Shabby Dabby Doodah. I've been giving my little black and white scissors a rest. They uh, are not as sharp as they used to be. Not the sharpest tool in the shed anymore, if you know what I mean. So, kind of like me. <laughs> where, 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 where did I do? Where did I put my, oh, it rolls. That is why I flip it over and put it in there because then it doesn't keep running away. I feel like it needs something else. Let's see what else do we have in here. Do we have any like little circles or? Hmm, kind of like that. Let's see if we have any, anything else that would look equally good. These are just tons of fun to make you guys and so super quick oh my gosh and so easy crazy crazy fun crazy fun you guys all right let me and then okay so that shows you how to do three using butterfly a tim holtz person and a flower so if you've got tim holtz ephemera hanging around your craft room you now know what you can use and where Ah, I put that on crooked. Can I get it off? Probably. Nope, I can't. All right. So there you have that one. Cute, 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 right? So we have three puzzle pieces. And I can tell you, these are addicting. I'm going to want to make tons and tons. Oh, I need a little saying, maybe. Just a little one, like right here. I like the words. I've gotten hooked on the words. I think that's thanks to Gail. She... I'd like to announce I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> um, that would be so funny. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. I'm sorry, did I roll my eyes out loud? In my defense, I was left unsupervised. It's a beautiful day to leave me alone. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Some of these are pretty rude. Okay, um, I don't think I want to do that. I mean, they're cute. Don't get me wrong, but I, you know, uh, let's try some. I'm running out of my other words. I need to get some more words. Oh my goodness, these are. Live, create, tell the story. That's kind of like what that's about. So let's do that one. I always have to put a little ink on it. You know how it is. Oh, I'm getting hungry. It's late in the day and it's time for dinner soon. Uh-oh. I didn't put any glue on it yet. Oh, no. Oh, I made a mess out of that. Mmm. Okay, I'm going to have to fix this whole thing. It's separated out. Great. Not what I want. Let's go live and create. And now let's glue this on for tell the story. Because that's what we do. We're telling stories with our with our art that we do here. I purposely put it on crooked. That wasn't on purpose, so. Boy, that's just a great looking piece. I love it. Love, love, love it. 
Okay, so we've done some of those. Now let's move on to something else that I think is going to be equally fun. I'm going to put these aside because I think I'm done with these for a minute. Yeah, I keep them in a cool uh, tin that I bought my husband a watch in, and he was going to throw the tin away. And I'm like, no, don't throw it away. You know how we are. we got to save everything. Poor guy. He thinks he's married to a big-time hoarder. <laughs> now, I wanted to show you a fun pocket. Um that I saw someone do, and all they did was take a long envelope, which I thought I had one to show you, but as usual, I don't. So the question is, do I want to, oh, let me get a long envelope. Hold on a minute, guys. Not that I don't have like 3,000 of them, because I do but I wanted to make sure it's one that's white inside. I didn't want one that was, um... so what I did was I took my envelope, I sealed it. We're gonna make a pocket using the Tim Holtz wallpaper. So if you've got the wallpaper or any of his papers, really, it doesn't have to be the wallpaper. Let's close it up. Then we're going to take and we're going to fold this up as high as we want our envelope. Now, I don't know how high you like your little, po not envelope pockets is what I should have said, not envelope. Gosh, you guys, I apologize. My words are not there. I'm excited to share this with you. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to take a little ruler and a pencil. And we're going to figure out I'd like to make a pocket. So I want to keep some of this here. So I'm going to create my angle. And I'm going to give my cutoff point, right? Now, you'll notice I'm ignoring the window. We're not going to be using the window in this particular project. So I've cut that. And I'm going to carefully, with my scissors or with a paper cutter, but I don't feel like dragging out my paper cutter, so I'm just going to do it with my scissors, cut that off. Then I'm going to use this as my second pocket. This is the part that I just cut off from here, and I'm going to turn it, I'm going to flip it, and I'm going to put it down here, and we have one, two. Then we're also going to cut this up the side for another pocket. So this is going to have four or five pockets because you can turn this, the way you put it in, to a pocket back where you glue it on, right? So look at this. One Now, if you wanna leave these open, you can have one, two, three, four, but I wouldn't recommend it because you have the envelope behind it, so it's gonna make it weak. So you don't wanna do that, okay? So now what you wanna do, I don't think I'll use this one now because I like this one, it's got a lot less stuff on it. I don't want that to dry out. I'm gonna move my puzzle pieces up and away. We'll show those later, right? Move that to it. See if I can find a eh, closed spot on my desk. My goodness, I'm making a mess here, aren't I? All right, now what I wanna do is I wanna take some of my pretty Tim Holtz wallpapers. And I have some really pretty wallpaper here. And I wanna find two that I think would look good together that are complementary. These are two different packs, I believe. And let's see. I I I had two of these packs going at the same time. I don't know which one is my new one. So let me see. I love this. Ooh, I love this. Let me see. Actually, these two are very complementary to each other, so I think I'll use these. I don't know that I have another one that would look as good with that one. Oh, yeah, I could put that with that. Yeah, I could. I mean, I could find something to go with this one, but I'll, I'll use these. And I'm using the roses, and you know why. I work a lot in roses. They're in a lot of my kits, the ephemera, and I'm making ephemera here, so it's just fun. I'm going to put that over there. I'm going to move that aside, but this is the one with all the fun stuff, so I may go back and use it. 
So what I want to do is I want to, now you know this is open here on the side to create a pocket, right? So what I'd like to do is maybe just glue before we start doing anything. I want to glue this little part of the pocket closed. Now, if you want to leave this open as a pocket, you're going to have to cover that. All right, so let's see how much paper we have. I want to... I don't need the whole thing in there. So I'm looking to see how much where I want to cut it at, you know, cut it, cut it down. I'm going to come up to right about here. I think this will work. I haven't made this before. I'm doing it for the first time with you. And this was my first time to do those. So let's see if we can get through this or if we're going to mess it up. All right. And then we're going to glue this on. Oh, that was cutting it short. So I will want to, of course, I'm going to glue that closed, but I don't want to glue anything closed till I am done with all of my um, gluing and inking and everything, and then we'll, we'll close it all up. So what was I going to do? Oh, glue stick. Okay. I'm going to glue stick this. Um, I think what I'll do is I will glue stick the inside of this up to a point. I'm going to put this where I want to see it. Um, try to get it even if you can, but you know, perfection is not possible. Just do your best. I'm going to, I could use a trimmer or I can cut it by hand. I'm going to cut it by hand. I think sometimes it's better to glue it on and then deal with the everything after. That way, then cut it. Instead of trying to cut to fit, ugh, I just get so frustrated when I do a cut to fit. Honestly, I just want to scream. Now, I could take and cover this in the back. Because you can see that, can't you? I am gonna glue this together because I don't like seeing that as a pocket. I don't like it open. I don't wanna see this envelope here, so I am just gonna do this. And glue that. I don't wanna see this pencil line, and yes, and I'm gonna to have to re-glue it when I'm done here. I don't like that pencil line showing, and yes, I can erase it. And yes, I will try to erase it. But I probably got glue on it, which means it's gonna be hard to erase. Like right there, it didn't wanna erase, so there we go. We got, all the, we got the glue lines off. Now, I want to cover this part. So again, I'm going to put glue on the, Ugh, that was already open. <laughs> ew, ew, as my kids would say, ew, when they were little. Yucky mom, yeah, ew, yucky mom is right. I'm not sure how to get the, what was I trying to do here? Which way do I want this to go, my print? Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna get it along the bottom there and up the side as best I can, which is why I'm using a glue stick and not the other stuff. You can hear the wallpaper, isn't that cool? Now we're gonna trim. And I don't want to waste any of this wallpaper because it's a Tim Holtz wallpaper and I've been hoarding it. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Look how easy that was. Yeah, now you don't see when you go put that in there. So that worked. Just by closing it up, that really took care of everything. Now you can cover this back if you would like 
with some paper or writing paper to make it something a uh, standalone or free floating pocket or you can leave it as it is it's up to you it depends what you're going to do with it a lot of times my pieces are freestanding because they're floating um, standalone pieces that can be sold that way or used that way but then sometimes I do pop them in and then so if I put anything on the back it's just going to be scrap paper or cardstock or something you know leftover or something or other now we're ready to close that and all we need to do is decorate the front so let me see if I have my butterflies are way too bright uh, my Tim Holtz ones so let me see if I oh hello if I have anything here that I want to use on there these are my Tim Holtz of course, I love these little blue ones, but I'm kind of pushing towards the pink there. But now that ended up upside down, and I swear I put it the right way, but now it's upside down. I did not mean to get that upside down. Well, okay, so we definitely want something to cover that up with as best we can. So that's not going to be it. Mm, I like this. That's pretty, and we could put some book page under it and we'll be good to go, right? Okay, so let me find my rubber band so my book doesn't fall open um, onto the floor. But you know what? I noticed everything on my desk on one side here is heading for the floor, so what are you gonna do? Um, hmm. Gonna ink this real quick, just the edges. Just use what's on my dauber. I don't want it to be white. This paper is not real white. It's got a, a bit of an antique look to it. And then I do want a little book page or music paper or something behind that. So let me see if I have some here that I want to put back there. That's another language altogether. I don't know if I want to use that one. I don't want to use my Italian book page per se. If I have another book page somewhere that I would rather use than that. Let me see what I've got over here. Ah, here's one. Just a regular book page is really all I was looking for. And let me get my ruler out. I see stuff I don't want on there. mimic that put that on that mm -hmm. you know uh, in one of my videos I said that um, you know something about ripping my book pages I love ripping my book pages I love ripping everything but I don't because it bothers my hands it causes pain sometimes it feels like I'm ripping glass so I don't do a lot I use the cutter and whatever. Love to do it, just not the best thing for me. There we go. And we could just put a little word or a tag or something there, and we're uh, we're good. We are good. Um, oh, as I've said, I'm finding that the art glitter glue has been um, discoloring my vintage book page. Let me do this. Oh, I hear the doggy next door is barking. He had a buddy and his buddy was sold or given away. So he is lonely now. So he barks a lot, but that's okay. I totally understand. I feel bad for him. He doesn't have his buddy anymore. They used to hang out together in the backyard, two bulldogs. The Great Dane was given to a farm um, or someplace with a lot of land. So that's great. He's gotten a new home. So He's not barking all the time. But then, suddenly, as soon as he was gone, two bulldogs showed up. Oh, it's my neighbor's son. Came to stay, came to live there when he got kicked out of his house. So, <clears throat> we shall not discuss that. But anyway, when that happened, then he brought the bulldogs with him, which he used to have the Great Dane. I don't know. He fancies himself as some kind of breeder, which I dislike. But, you know, what are you going to say? 
Just my personal opinion. All right, so what I want is, I want something here. Um, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I have? I have tons of stuff. It's not like I don't have stuff. Let's see. Nature, that's pretty. That goes good enough. We'll just put that in there. It was the first thing I saw and it fits it. So it's kind of what I had in my head. So you can see we were able to do this with junk mail. Isn't this great? Junk mail, junk mail. We love using up our junk mail, don't we? Because I get a lot of it. I don't know about you guys. Five to six pieces a day, every day, plus the bills. Because we still, we're not electronic. We don't do things electronically. And so we're still old school for a reason. But uh, let me see. All right. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Now we're going to close those up. Now you could make this tag shape if you wanted at the top. You could round it or you could just leave it as it is. So I feel like I've done everything I need to do. So I feel like it's safe to close these up. doesn't go that high. I don't know what I was thinking there. But it goes higher than that. I should have put it on here. Let's try this again. It didn't work, so we can... I'm sorry about the glare. I see it. It's right there. There. Hopefully that helps a little bit. And I washed my craft mat. This craft mat, I just barely rinsed it. The glue came right off and it was fabulous. It does have like foldy lines in it. It does get these funky folds in it, but I don't care. It's clean. Uh, tonight I'll go rinse it off and I'll, it'll be good. So we have this pocket here, which I do want to put something in that so I can make sure it's open all the way down. I do see a part here. I definitely want to want to put something back here. So I've got to see what do I have that I could glue to the back of that. Um... I think I have some coffee dyed paper. Oh, it's not wide enough. Of course not. Well, bummer. Um, what have I got? Do I have one wider? I do. I miscut this, so. Oh, my chair. Hold on. I'm going to end up on the floor. I think the wheels are going bad on it. I use it every day. Might be time for a brand new chair. Okay. I sit in it all day, every day, and I think it's tired of my rear end. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like letting me know it doesn't like it. That's got a funny rip in it there. Okay, let me just. I don't know what it is with me today. I keep forgetting to close up my glue. I know I'm sort of rushing because I really. I'm hoping to get to one more project with you guys, but I don't think I'm going to make it. So it looks like it's just going to be these two and I'll have to do a different video for the other one. I've got a fun like six pocket or five pocket um, ephemera, not ephemera, but it's just a pocket piece that I want to do with Tim Holtz again. All Tim Holtz stuff. We love our Tim Holtz. I've been doing a few of those lately, I know, but I'm giving myself a break from all of the floral journals and... I'm working on a cute little mini journal that has is shabby chic, so I am getting back to that as well. So for those of you who are my shabby chic people, never fear. I have not finished with shabby chic either. Just, you know, working on things. I have a bunch of stuff that is going into my shop in the next day or so. Uh, hopefully this weekend. I, I wanted it to be sooner, but I've been, I got struck with dizzy spells, and so I haven't been able to work at all. I've been Flat on my back, guys. I don't know what's causing it. We can't figure it out. Doctor doesn't know. So, could be allergies. It could be anything. So, uh, it's like left me laying down today. I'm better, but I mean, I've had good spots today. Not, not 100%. So, I thought, well, if I'm up, I'm fine. It's when I lay down and when I sit up. I get them. Change in blood pressure. We checked that. You know, they checked everything. I don't know. 
I go through this periodically and then I get better. So who knows? I don't know what the deal is. But uh, so I have not been able to get my stuff in my shop, get photographed and get it listed. I did get the video done um, for it. So now I just need to get the photographs done and get it into the shop. And then I will run the video. You'll see the video and then you can go and shop. And I'm shooting for Saturday morning, but Sunday, hopefully Monday at the latest. I'm sorry, I keep telling you guys that. But my health will not let me do anything that I want to do when I want to do it. So I just have to work around it. It's the way it is when you have chronic terminal illness. Oh, that was not a good... Okay, so that's too thick, too wet, too something. Let's try the crocodile over here. Oh, it didn't like it either. Too wet? Or too thick, I don't know. Maybe too wet. Now I wish I hadn't done it because I've ruined it. Oh dear. Probably too wet. I'm gonna say it's too wet. Well, I will let it dry and clean it up when it's all dry. I mean, you figure we've we've glued paper onto the envelope. We've glued the envelope and then we've glued coffee dyed on the back so this could be a floating pocket for you so now you have a pocket here and you have a pocket in here and then if you glue this on you end up with a third pocket up there so that's great you know I'm going to do one more thing to this hopefully one more thing no not that um 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 let's try some of my favorite lace I keep finding bits and pieces of it. I think, oh, I've used it all. And then all of a sudden I find tons of it and I'm like, oh, all right, I still have it, right? Sorry, I have to clean some of this up. It's getting to be, I'm knocking things over with my elbow because there's so much next to me. Oh my gosh, look at all these tools. <laughs> oh, it's crazy. How much stuff I have on my desk. And with, I, I start my day clean, right? Let's put some little lace at the bottom of this, and then we're, oh no, that's not what I want. I want this end. Where is this end? Oh, I see. Okay. How come, I don't know. Answered my own question. How come, I don't know. Uh oh, hopefully I didn't just cut that too short. Let's get some. And I'm a klutz too. Alrighty, uh, let's go here. In a great mood, love and creating. You know how much I love to create. Oh gosh, I live for it. And I did cut that too short. Oh my goodness. Well, we won't be using that one. We'll let that dry and we'll use it in something else. I'm using Fabri-Tac here, which I shouldn't be using, but I am. Alrighty. Here we go. I have no idea. Well, I, I don't know what we've got planned. I know we're going to clean house on Saturday, hopefully. And then just have a nice, quiet, you know, Easter day. So I hope you all have a lovely weekend. I don't know. I think I'll probably just leave that like that for right now. Let it dry. See what I think. I may wait to see what project it goes with and then I'll know more about what I want to do. Um, definitely need some more glue on this.
Oh, my, my lace is headed to the floor. Oh, I know. Let me double check to make sure this is on and we're filming. Yes, we are. Okay. It'd be sad if I did all this and found out I didn't film. Then you would have no Friday video, which I know you guys always say is okay. But then I know there are some of you that this is how you start your day and you love hanging out with me and you tell me you miss me. So, you know, I make this effort for you guys and for me and for me, but I do it for you guys a lot. So, I know I don't have to, but I love it. So, here I am. And I love all of you. You're my buddies. I'll be awful lonely without you. I am lonely when I don't do videos and I don't see you guys and I don't see comments. And, and the, you know, it's very lonely for me. Now, I was supposed to put a second pocket on here and completely spaced it. I mean, I wasn't supposed to. I could put a second pocket on here. Or I could take and put the pocket on the back side and make it a double-sided. So I could do both, but I don't think I will... Since I got excited and I decorated it already, I don't think I will... Um, I could cover that and put that over there. Hmm. Something to think about, I think. I just don't know. You could have a double pocket or you can have a single pocket. I think it's up to you as to what you want to do. But, you know, I could put that on another envelope or use it on the back. I'm really, really, really contemplating doing it on the back. So this is a double-sided pocket. Oh, that'd be cool. Something you just stick into another pocket. Why don't we do that? Why don't we make it another double? Why don't we make it a double-sided? Well, since I covered the back and, you know, made it all pretty, we could do that, right? Let's do it. Since I don't have time to cut another one and do a full one. Do my other project let's just finish this one off completely and then you know we're we're good to go let's make sure i get this right side up this time oh yeah yeah that was crazy huh crazy 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 pants wrong glue again I'm confusing myself here. I'm totally confused. What did I just do? I don't know. Let's see if I mess this up. There we go. Now I could have it as a double or single pocket, but I think I will make it a just a single because of that envelope. I'm going to glue it all together. Hmm, I'm running out of glue again. I swear I fill these glue bottles almost every day now. Well, if I'm crafting every day, that makes sense, right? Well, I try to craft every day. A little something even when I'm not feeling good enough to do a film a lot of times I am crafting let me I do want to ink this though before I glue it on otherwise I feel like I'm not gonna get it right well it's about time to wrap this up you guys head off and get some dinner hang out with my hubby my kitty cats. I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful Friday afternoon and evening and morning and every part of Friday. 
Hope you have a beautiful Easter weekend if you celebrate Easter or a fabulous weekend if you don't. And I hope you have a creative one. I'm hoping you get some craft time maybe this weekend. I know well, some of you had the week off with your kids because they had Easter break, but you probably didn't get a craft. <laughs> I will be thinking about all of you. I'm gonna cut this little tip off because it's over the edge. And I will ink that edge. There. Now we have another cool pocket over here. So we could put something there, something here, something in there and up here. And then if I had done this correctly, we could have had one there too. So, you know, if you had another one of these, you could have, you know, done another. That's how it was supposed to look. <laughs> Except I got excited about decorating and did something else. So, well, there we go, you guys. Thank you all for hanging out with me. Um, I hope to see you all very soon next week for some more fun in the craft room. I'm not sure what I'll be doing. Probably the project that I didn't do today. I'll probably do next week. So thanks for hanging out with me. I will see you all very soon. I love you guys. Hugs and kisses. Bye-bye.